Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about common gate abnormalities that you might see in your step 1 exam or in real life. Parkinson's gait is the most common and is caused by dopamine deficiency. It presents as shuffling gait with difficulty in turning around. Some might even call it magnetic gait because your feet never really lift off. An early sign of the disease is arm swinging while walking. Antalgic gait is also pretty common and it's caused by pain usually in one leg. The patient would avoid bearing weight on that leg so it presents with short stance phase. Common causes include fractures, infection of the joints, maybe osteoarthritis, and etc. Waddling gait is due to weakness of bilateral gluteal muscles. This will cause instability of the pelvis and the patient would waddle from one side to the other while walking. Common causes include muscular dystrophies or muscular diseases, pregnancy, and etc. Just think of something that would damage bilateral muscles at the same time. Trendelberg gait, however, is due to damage to one gluteal muscle on one side. So waddling is due to bilateral damage and Trendelberg is due to unilateral damage. In Trendelberg gait, the pelvis is unstable and it will drop or tilt with every step. And medical mistakes is the most common cause. When giving the patient gluteal muscle intramuscular injections, give the injection in the superior lateral quadrant of the gluteal muscle to avoid causing Trundleberg gait. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you guys later.